Hey y'all, it's Caitlin again. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanted to come and do my two week post-op video from VSG surgery. Uh, I'm actually two weeks and one day today. I wanted to wait because today I actually had a class at my surgeon's office to graduate to stage two pureed foods. How exciting, right? Some of you guys are lucky and your stage two or next phase of foods is like soft foods. Ugh, this hair, man. Um, it's just like soft foods. Mine's literally, they want me to puree everything. Okay? Puree. So, like, I can't even start chewing food. Like, they want me to sip every damn thing I'm about to consume still. And that's going to go for two weeks. Like, a whole month of not even using my teeth at all? That's so weird. But no, I can't. I don't think I can do that. Like, I bought tuna. I just went grocery shopping. And excuse the makeup on the back of my hand. I forgot to wipe it off this morning. But... I just went grocery shopping and got like refried beans and tuna and meatballs. Like, I'm not about to sip that stuff. No, ma'am, no. So, I think I'm going to make the executive decision and chew really, really, really well and puree it in my mouth. Um, before I had surgery, when I was watching, I forget whose video, somebody had said that they were doing that. And I was like, girl, that is not, that's against the rules. I don't know how, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Like, mm. and now I'm like, no. This is life. I'm not going to sip my gosh darn food anymore. So I think I'm just going to be really careful. I can understand certain foods, but like tuna salad, egg salad, refried beans. Really? No, I'm not. I'm not going to. Um, so yeah, so to get to my stats for all of y'all new viewers and subscribers, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I just realized yesterday that I hit over 100 subscribers. You guys are so, I just, I can't get over you guys. They're so cool. Um, thank you for subscribing and uh, loving up on me. I really appreciate it. So my stats, the high weight or starting weight, whatever you want to call it, was 335. This was back in July at some point. Um, my weight of surgery, my my weight on the day of surgery it always gets so hot in here um my weight on the day of surgery was 300.8 um last week i believe i checked in at 286.6 .6, i think the sun's gonna bother me 286.6 .6 last week and this week this afternoon i weighed in at 281.2 oh look at that um 281.2 so that's like five pound loss. Not as good as I was hoping for. Um, but you know, what can you do at this point in life? I'm grateful. It's a loss. I'm, I want to get in the 270s. So that's what I was kind of hoping for. Crossing my fingers for it just didn't happen. Um, and there are a couple reasons I believe that did not happen. First and foremost, last week I was horrible. I'm still horrible. Like, and I'm going to make a confession here. And please do not judge me and leave me mean comments. Excuse me, but I have not been doing really well. I've not been doing really well in getting my liquids and my protein in at all. I've not been doing good at all. The first week I felt really good. I felt like on top of things. This week, especially towards the end, I feel like I'm just over liquids. I don't want to drink any more gosh darn water with like Crystal Light, and I don't want any more protein shakes. Like I don't want any more chicken broth or cream of chicken soup. Like it's just gross now. So I'm at the point where I'm literally just saying I don't want to eat and I don't want to drink anything. So yesterday, I think, yesterday, I think I had maybe under 30 ounces of water, of liquid or water. Um, and then I didn't even finish a whole protein shake. So not good. And I know that that's a reason that everything is slowing down. Um, today even today it's right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon i had my appointment at 12 i should have brought a water bottle i didn't um i had i've had maybe nine or ten ounces of, of liquid no protein shake like i'm just not doing well i'm not doing good and i'm not i feel like i'm not organized enough to like have a plan but i really need to sit down and make a plan of when i'm gonna eat when i'm gonna drink like i'm just not doing good with it you guys and i'm like bummed at myself for it um, but I feel like that's really slowed things down. And also, TMI, this is where we get to the TMI part of my video. Um, if you don't want to talk about poop, don't watch the rest of this video. Um, it's all going to be about poop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I can't poop right now. Like, I can poop 
so weird to say poop and poop over and over again. Um, I can go to the bathroom, but not, I don't feel like I'm emptying myself out. I still feel like backed up and like just full in my internal areas. I just feel like it's not all coming out. Um, and I think that's because I'm just not getting enough liquid in like it's plain and simple. Uh, I'm not getting enough in. And so I bought some Miralax or Dolcalax, some kind of lax last night. And I tried it last night, nothing. I tried it this morning with my uh, nine or 10 ounces of water, nothing again. So um, I really need to make a push to get this stuff in, meaning my liquids, my water, because um, I still feel backed up and I feel like it, I feel like maybe I could have been in the 270s if I wasn't so backed up, right? So um, yeah, that's my depressing last end of the week. So I'm struggling with that, you guys. Um, and I'm also struggling with the idea of like, I'm going to be starting foods and if I've only been on liquids for over two weeks now and I've lost a weight, lost some weight, obviously it's because I haven't eaten anything, right? But if I only lost five pounds on like liquids alone, what am, what's going to happen when I'm introducing these solids and purees into my diet? Like, I feel like I'm not going to lose any weight. I feel like I'm going to be the only person or the first person that this just doesn't work for. I'm really like stressed about that too so I'm kind of I was in a good mood until I started saying these things out loud you know um those those things have been bringing me down so anyways enough about the annoying stuff right so um I still have a little bit of acid this week it's actually um people were saying in my from my last video when I said I was hungry that it's probably acid in my stomach making me feel hungry and that could be what it is I haven't started taking any medication and like at this moment in time I'm feeling starving like my stomach is growling I'm starving like how I felt starving before surgery like where your stomach's rumbling you feel empty like it's just it's uncomfortable that's just how I feel um, but that could be the acid in my stomach and I've actually had acid reflux probably about four days out of the last week like really not pleasant acid reflux so I do need to get on acid um they gave me a meprazole and I haven't I just haven't filled it yet so um I do have a little bit of that that I'm battling as well which is never fun um but that's it like that's really I mean nothing crazy has gone on this week um I'm excited for the pureed food like I said I bought some refried beans and some tuna and some eggs and some cheese and some ricotta cheese, some meatballs to mash up. I'm not pureeing that. Um, I don't know, some tomato soup. Um, oh, I, I've recorded this always like three times before, so if I said this earlier in this video that y'all, excuse me. Oh, no, I'm gonna yawn. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm not good at editing, so that's gonna stay there. So if I said this in this video earlier, I apologize, but at the class that I was at, two girls who had surgery on the same day as me, one of the girls who had the same surgeon were there and we were just kind of chit-chatting before class and they were talking about how they were eating. They had been promoted to stage two last week. So they'd been eating all these foods, these delicious, uh, one lady said she blended shepherd's pie and I was like, shepherd's pie sounds delicious, but blended shepherd's pie, she liked it. She said it looked disgusting, but she kind of mustered through it and it tasted amazing. But I was like, wait, wait a minute. Like, I haven't been had, I have only had liquids. Actually, I had um, to go to my aunt's wedding last week. That was really tough, guys. It was tough just because, did I just get lipstick on me? No. It was tough just because it was like my whole family, like extended family was there. And everybody was eating. <laughs> um, they, My family obviously knows about the surgery. But the waitress, she kept coming around and like clearing people's plates. And my plate, I hadn't gotten anything. And, um... She's like, do you need me to make you a plate, honey? I can make you a plate. And I was like, no, I'm good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then about 10 minutes later, she's like, are you really not going to eat? Like, let me make you a plate to go. Like, let me get you some food on your plate. And I was like, thank you so much, but I can't eat right now. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thank you so much. And she kept coming back over and like getting upset with me because I wasn't eating anything. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, leave me alone. Um, but it was just hard to see all my family drinking and eating around me. And I'm just sitting there. But they did have cream of corn cream of corn no corn chowder um and they had like little tiny dices of potato like literally like little cubes and so I had I didn't have any of the corn like I was scared to have the corn and even like the corn like shells that would get in my mouth I was like 
disgusting and rude at the table and I'm like <laughs> and spitting them out <laughs> um and then I did have a couple of the the potato and it was really delicious and didn't bother my stomach the chowder didn't bother my stomach I was really excited so I did eat that but that's all I'd eaten and I felt like I was like being horrible and here are these girls eating uh, stage two diets they've been eating freaking food for the past week and they're like oh you poor thing you haven't eaten in over two weeks you poor thing and I'm like yeah I know I'm about to shoot someone so don't talk to me um so that was just annoying okay but now I'm gonna go make myself a meatball and I'm gonna smoosh it up really really well and have some ricotta cheese on top and uh, life will be good so that is it guys still over 10 minutes I always manage to do that um yeah I don't know nothing else to, I don't think anything else will report I will think of something later I'm sure but who cares right now I'm gonna end this video thank you guys again for watching I love you guys so much feel free to comment subscribe find me on Instagram Facebook I've been horrible at I'm not even logged in my Instagram right now it's hard to like switch between like weight loss life and real life you know what I mean like I have an Instagram for my regular page my own p Facebook and then having to like log out and remember my password I'm just not great at it so I've just been giving people my my personal email uh, Facebook I'm totally I'm over not having anybody know about my surgery like it is what it is I did it you don't like it go away like unfriend me go away don't talk to me anymore get over it judge me all you want but I could give a rat's ass right so if you would like to keep in touch and chat and talk whatever feel free to find me on my personal Facebook page now um it's I'll leave it I'll leave my name down below it's Caitlin and my last name is Aguiar A-G-U-I-A-R so if you want to find me there go for it because I'm always on that not really much on my VSG one so Feel free to locate me anywhere you personally anywhere you'd like to. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your comments, your support, your likes. I did I say this already? Over 100 subscribers. Pretty pumped about that. That's really exciting. So thank you guys. I'm so behind on my YouTube videos right now, so I'm not commenting because I just haven't had the time to watch them. So I apologize. I'm gonna make time to sit down and watch YouTube because I miss you guys so much and I want to hear how you guys are doing. And I just. You know, I get so much great insight and tips and I need to slow down, take a breath. I get so many great tips and tricks from you guys, and I miss you so much. So I'm going to watch you. Okay, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.